I'm David Gross with Condi Systems today to share with you a brand new new innovation from Condi Systems, compliments of our friends at George Knight. As many of you know, George Knight is our heat press manufacturer. Great company, been making presses for well over, or they've been in business for over 100 years. I think they've been making presses a little bit less than that. But they're a great company to work with. They're quite innovative and they make great presses that last a long time. This press that we're looking at here is a D616, except it has bottom heat. So if you look at this right here, you'll notice that this doesn't look like your normal pad you expect to see. This is hot. It's 400 degrees hot, in fact. And I bet we could just cook some hamburgers right on it. Well, we've got top heat and we've got bottom heat. And the reason that's so important or it's so valuable is because many of us do double-sided products. And you could think of a long list of products from car flags to bag tags uh, to the lanyard badges to um, bookmarks, um, door hangers, I mean, just huge list um, of products. And so having bottom heat um, will help us because we don't have to do so much work in, in taking it out, letting them cool, flip it over, putting them back in. We can do everything at one time. In addition, bottom heat is really valuable because we can turn off the top heat, for instance, and only use the bottom heat. So certain products really lend themselves to that strategy, for instance, a, a mouse pad. And so there's lots of reasons to consider bottom heat because it saves you time, it saves you labor, and it cuts down on mistakes as well. So lots of great reasons. I'm going to walk you through three transfer projects right now. The first one we're going to do is a, a new bottle hugger. Really like it. Neat product. Second, we're going to do some bag tags. And then third, we're going to use only the bottom heat um, to do a mouse pad. So let's get started. Here's our transfer. And so the first step is we're going to fold it and so that we fold it right in the center. And again, I'm left-handed, so um, i got lots of reasons not to be able to do this well. And, but uh, maybe I can do a good job today. So we fold it in half. Looks like I did a good job. So that just keeps it lined up. And templates on these kinds of projects, of course, are essential. Um, so after we've done it, I'm going to put a mist or pro spray on here. And normally we want to do pro spray over a big garbage can so the mist goes down. And, but we're going to do it here. Now we're looking for a good mist here like that. Got it? And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our hugger in here. Now before we do that, we do want to lint roll our hugger. Lint rolling um, our products like this are real important. And um, so we're going to do that. Gets off the blue lint that I talk about in some of my other videos. All right. Now we'll position it here. Um, and notice that I've left my design with plenty of bleed. So um, I can stay away from um, getting that. So I got that. We're going to fold it over and um, hopefully do a good job here. Good job with, um, with keeping it. So we made our little sandwich here and um, looks good to me. Looks good, looks good. Now what we normally do if we had only top heat is we'd press it and we'd take it out, flip it over like a burger and, and then press it again. Because we have this neato thing, we're going to put it on here and we're going to press for about a minute always refer to our instructions for exact details like this and those instructions are available in the uh, support area so we're going to put it on here and then we're going to put our transfer on here and we're going to flip it around and and press and um, about a minute and um, we're, we're going so having bottom heat um, is available for many of the presses, many of the swing away presses. Um, and, and it's good for many double side products or in products that lend themselves to using only bottom heat. Okay, we're good to go here. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna flip it around here, move our transfer. And then we're gonna, gonna go ahead and peel it and um, Got a great looking transfer on both sides. Very nice, obviously hot. And so we'll peel it off here. Um, and just did an excellent job. 
the, the magic of having two, you know, top and bottom is on the seams of huggers and things like that. We can just do a superb job and it really looks like we, we sublimated the material, then we cut it, and then we sewed it together. So you can get just incredibly good looking results. Okay, now the next project we're going to do is, is the bag tags. Um, and the bag tags, if you've done a lot of them like I have, it is just a, um, just a big nuisance to, um, to have to um, take them out, cool them, and so forth. Um, so I laid out my template again, folded it so that, that I've got a mirror image uh, of one side compared to the other. And so what we're going to do is, same as before, we're going to pro spray the transfer, and, um, and then we're going to fold it, put it in our press, and go. So uh, first step is we'll pro spray it here. And um, now we're going to lay them out and then fold. And um, the, um, I think we'll do them just like this. Again, I got some good bleed on these. Now, we are working on jigs that would, would allow you to do this even better um, uh, without having to, um, um, you know, concern yourself so much with, um, with what I'm doing here. It would be quicker position. And I've done a pretty good job, I think, pretty good job. And so we fold it over. And um, again, I've allowed myself enough bleed where um, if I'm off a little bit, I'm probably still okay. And we're good to go here. And, you know, normally I would do this probably about a minute 30, about a minute 30. Okay, we're done here. Go ahead and open it up, swing it around, take our transfer out, lay it over here. And we'll peel away and see how we did. And um, looks like we've got some awesome transfers. Obviously, they're hot. I normally have my cool plate over here, missed my little cool plate, but you can see that um, we just did a, a tremendously good job. Um, did it much faster than we would have done otherwise. Okay, so double side products, great, fantastic kind of stuff. Our last project, I'm going to turn off the top heat and, um, and uh, we're not going to have time to let it cool down, so we're just going to do it anyway. Uh, but we're going to do a mouse pad, and look how easy a mouse pad is. And so we're going to swing our press away. And uh, here's our mouse pad transfer. And we'll again pro spray it with, uh, pro spray the transfer. And um, we'll shove this to the back here. And um, I like to lint roll um, mouse pads because of just uh, a little bit of stray lint here. So we're going to do this. And um, we got awesome mouse pads. Okay, I'm going to put another piece of paper on the bottom here. And then we're going to position our transfer face down on the mouse pad. Okay, there we go. I think I did a good job. I think I did a good job. Okay. Now the magic here is is I can I don't have to flip it over. I can just keep it just like this, and uh, that's that's awesome for if you've done a lot of mouse pads. It's nice to be able to do that. And um, put this on the back, and we're going to press for oh about a minute fifteen. Now because I've turned off the um, top heat. I'm, I'm not running on a timer, so I've got to just estimate a little, little quirk to work out here. But I've um, done enough mouse pads, I know when it's time to open it. Well, about time to open here. And we'll 
we'll flip it over. And we've got an awesome transfer. Awesome transfer. Great Valentine's Day transfer. And ah, don't you love the smell of neoprene? I hope this has been valuable to you. One thing to keep in mind when you're using a press like this is that it does use essentially twice the power. And so there may be some special requirements for you to get enough power to it. Um, in this case, this, this particular configuration probably draws about maximum about 22 amps. A lot of uh, places may have just a 20 amp circuit uh, for it. So you may have to make some special arrangements to be able to supply this, this puppy with enough power. Well, I hope this has been valuable to you. You can email me with your comments. Um, you can call your sales rep with questions. My email is dgross at condi.com. Thank you. Thank you.